In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome, everyone, to our Mass on the fifth Sunday of Lent. The theme is of God giving us life. In the first reading we hear of Jewish people in exile, and God said, I'll bring you back to your own land in, and give you life. And in the Gospel, we see Jesus giving life to his friend Lazarus. Before we listen to the Word of God, let's call to mind his mercy. Lord Jesus, you lay down your life that we might have eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sit at the right hand and plead for us, your friends. Lord, have mercy. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father in heaven, the love of your Son led him to accept the suffering of the cross, that his brothers and sisters might glory in new life. Change our selfishness into self-giving. Help us to embrace the world you've given us, that we may transform the darkness of its pain into the light and joy of Easter. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord says this, I am now going to open your graves. I mean to raise you from your graves, my people, and lead you back to the soil of Israel. And you will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and raise you from your graves, my people. And I shall put my spirit in you, and you will live, and you shall resettle on your own soil. And you will know that I, the Lord, have said and done this. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. Spirit of God has made his home in you. In fact, 
Unless you possess the Spirit of Christ, you would not belong to him. Though your body may be dead, it is because of sin. But if Christ is in you, then your spirit is life itself, because you have been justified. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, then he who raised Jesus from the dead will give life to your own mortal bodies through his spirit living in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thinking that she was going to the tomb to weep there. 
Mary went to Jesus, and as soon as she saw him, she threw herself at his feet, saying, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. At the sight of her tears and those of the Jews, Jesus said in great distress, with a sigh that came straight from his heart, Where have you put him? They said, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept, and the Jews said, See how much you loved him. But there were some who remarked, He opened the eyes of the blind man. Could he not have prevented his man's death? Still sighing, Jesus reached the tomb. It was a cave with a stone to close the opening. Jesus said, Take the stone away. Martha said to him, Lord, by now you will smell. This is the fourth day. Jesus replied, Have I not told you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer. I know indeed that you always hear me, but I speak for the sake of these who stand around me, so they may believe it was you who sent me. When he had said this, he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus here, come out. The dead man came out, his feet and hands bound with bands of stuff and a cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, let him go free. Many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what he did believed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. How blessed we are that God provides us with such a message of comfort and hope during our suffering from the coronavirus. The Gospel states, Jesus loved Martha and his sister Mary and Lazarus. He called Lazarus our friend. Jesus was distressed when he saw Mary and her friends in tears. The Gospels records, Jesus wept. Jesus understands our pain. He too is fully human and he was emotional. And so the bystanders said, see how much Jesus must have loved him. Further on, in chapter 15 of John's Gospel, Jesus says, A man can have no greater love than to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends. I call you friends because I've made known to you everything I've learned from my Father. Jesus will go on to lay down his life for us his friends and his death on the cross. This giving of his life is foreshadowed in the Lazarus event. Jesus leaves the safe vicinity of Bethany and risks his life by going to Jerusalem where some of the authorities want to kill him. Indeed, they did it a week later. In raising Lazarus, Jesus shows us there is life beyond the grave. While our bodily life will cease, our God-given life of the soul will never cease. The death of the believer is not a dead end. God remains faithful to his promise. As Jesus said, whoever loves and believes in me, will never die. Jesus' final words in our Gospel today, as Lazarus shuffles out of the tomb, were, unbind him, let him go free. The coronavirus has bound up us people. Sickness, death, loss of jobs. We've lost control of much of our lifestyle. Let us be people 
who help others to be set free. Let us help one another by telephone chat, a text, let people know we're thinking of them. Let us keep praying for everyone, expressing the hope that the risen Christ is our life. Let us express our faith, among other things, in the resurrection from the dead. I believe in God, the Father of Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge us of the human and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As Jesus showed his love by raising Lazarus his friend, we too are his friends, so we confidently place our prayers. As we live through the coronavirus pandemic, we ask God to deepen our hope in God's love for us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. As Jesus went out on his, of his way to visit Lazarus, may we be generous in supporting those suffering from the effects of the pandemic by our telephone calls. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those health workers caring for the victims of the coronavirus. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. May all people follow medical advice and not cause others to become sick. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. As Christ wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, may those thousands of people grieving the loss of their loved ones be comforted. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick. Frank Heenan, Godwin Marandez, Colin Baird, Nadia Christopoulos, Ruby Kachayas, Royston Lavaro, Rogella Magabillan, Dale Ma, Michelle Miglins, Martin Mullins, Cassie O'Keefe, Emily Pulsar, Carmelita and Pio Loco, Hubert Rosario, Christine Rush, Trevor Salter, Veronica Sequeira, Chris Telfer, Carmel Trento, and Randy Wilson. May they, they be comforted in their time of need. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died recently, including Teresa Dwignan, Brother Noel Hannabury, and those whose anniversary is occurring at this time, Margaret Dillon and Matt Duggan. May they rest in eternal peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Brothers and sisters, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Almighty God, may the sacrifice we offer take away the sins of those whom you enlightened with the Christian faith. We ask this in the name of Jesus the Lord. So of course we're thinking about Lazarus. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. As a man like us, Jesus wept for Lazarus, his friend. As the eternal God, he raised Lazarus from the dead. In his love for us all, Christ gives us the sacraments to lift us up to everlasting life. Through him, the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise as we acclaim. so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the St. Joseph of Spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and to praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. gospel Jesus says he's told us all he's learned from his father and so to the father of Jesus the father of us all let's pray our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace forgive you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And your spirit. Let's pray that the peace of the Lord will be with us always. As the one bread is broken, we sing.
Catholics around the world find themselves unable to receive the Eucharist due to the pandemic, Pope Francis provided an example of a spiritual communion, a prayer that we can pray at home. The prayer says, My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by this sacrifice, may we always remain with one with your Son, Jesus Christ, for he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Just a couple of notices before we conclude. We offer our sympathy to the families of three of our parishioners whose funerals we've celebrated in the last eight days. Our weekly newsletter is on the parish website. I thank our small group of volunteers who have come today to telecast this Sunday's Mass. Last week, 1,000 hits were received on our website. The home and the internet to avoid any face-to-face -face contact. So let's keep praying for one another. And as the Sydney Professor of Edson wrote last week, stay apart and stay alive. Again, stay apart and stay alive. And he's a professor of immunology. So let's keep on supporting each other uh, during this time. And I'll be, as usual, praying day and night for you, our parishioners. The Lord be with you. And May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.